So welcome everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop number eight. <laughs> Big number eight. It's 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 uh, it's great. So um, I've been so for the whole of this month, I've been talking about surrounding the idea of doing healing on ourselves. So there is just um, a, some things I've been giving you all different tools that you can use to heal yourself. So this is kind of the um, putting it all together one to, to um, just assist you in, in starting to do your own healing. So I just have maybe one or two things that I want to, um, tools in terms of tools and uh, that I want to throw in. And then I will talk about how do you approach it? So kind of the, the summing up of everything. So as with always, I just want to share with you all the, um, let's see, this one here, yes. So, so then the agenda for today, um, yeah, so welcome, check in, presence meditation. Something that I want to talk about is syncing up all parts of you. And then um, this is kind of one of the techniques that I want to, to mention, um, at least one of them. And then the last part is really to pull it all together, to, to kind of give, give you a, an easy system that, that you can use or create your own because um, everyone is unique. Um, the only thing is we, we just have to be systematic about it when we are trying to do some healing on ourselves. So um, let's get back then just to do a check-in. Any questions, any comments to um, from all of the, the previous play shops? Anything that you want to, to ask? Now is the chance before we go on to talk about something new. If not, then great. Let's do our presence meditation then. So for the presence meditation, simply just start to tune inwards, start, start to turn inwards and, and just use your breath to assist you. So just take in a deep breath. And let it all go. Take in another deep breath, just slowly breathing in, making sure that your whole lungs get inflated all the way to the end of your lungs, to the tip of your lungs, fully inflated. And then slowly let your breath go when you can breathe in no more. You know, mom and dad step back. And then simply take in one more deep breath. And let it all go. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. And at the same time, just set the intention that you want to call back all parts of yourself. Just bring them all back. Whatever attention that you have sent outside of yourself throughout the day, this is the moment that you intend to call back all of that.
So bring back all of your attention back into your cell. And just be very present with your body. Just pay attention to what's going on within your own body. And be in this moment. Be so present that you don't even need to think at all. Just be here with yourself with your body, with your breath. And set the intention to call back all parts of your soul. And also set the intention to call in the highest vibration version of you as well. This moment is important. This is what I want to focus on right now. So call back and get connected with the highest vibration version of you. And you will feel this feeling like you are becoming more solid, more of yourself. And when you have that feeling, then you can open your eyes and join back in this play shop again. So welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. So two things I want to mention. Um, one of thing, one of the the thing. That I want to mention is that um, I've talked about different tools to heal yourself. There are um, healing energies like 380, which is the ultraviolet um, energy. 800 is is the infrared. So so those you can use to heal any part of your body. And um, There is also one other ways that you can heal your body, and that it really is the, the ultimate power. <clears throat> so there is a part of, within part of you, it's called the amygdala, actually knows where, um, or any part of your body is, and it knows <clears throat> what's going on. So I'm not going to go into details about the ultimate power because I have talked about this before. I just want to show you all um, the, the video that, so I just want to mention the video that I have um, because I've done that already. So there, um, if you if you go into um, my YouTube channel, the ultimate power within you. So I did this. It's all about where the the ultimate power, the, the um, where it is in your body, how to access it, what you need to do. So this full video is there. So I'm not going to repeat that. It's a video that I did last year around July, like end of July. So just some. Um, just type in um, ultimate power within or just ultimate power and in within my YouTube channel and you will find it. And there's a meditation as well that will take you through this process of accessing that within you. So this, this ultimate power is really 
a something within your own body that you can once you get comfortable with and you get access to and really work with becoming familiar with you can pretty much heal any part of yourself um so healing as i mentioned before healing is not that difficult healing is actually um fairly easy healing the body is is fairly easy is um so because your body is actually designed to be self healing and the reason why we we don't do it now it's it's not so much because we can't do it it's just that most of the time we don't empower ourselves to do it we um we have been empowering doctors or anyone with authority outside of ourselves to heal us so big part of healing yourself is actually to believe that you your body uh, not really so much belief but to reeducate yourself that that is how our body is designed we like we have a paper cut we don't need anything we don't need to put anything it will heal itself your body will heal itself um the only intervention is if um if the cut is deeper then you may want stitches but what the stitches does it just makes it easier for your body to heal itself it, um and all the 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 medications that you're doing there all of them is really based on either um managing symptoms or assisting your body to heal itself so the only one that can heal you is really you so the 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 main premise i i think i'm hoping that this this whole couple of weeks has been to empower you to really know that you can heal yourself you don't need you don't even need medication because energetically it's it's like um you even if you cannot let's say if you um are in the middle of nowhere and you are injured and you can't um or or you have you don't have the medication you can actually just energetically give yourself that medication until you can get your hands on your medication so this nothing that can it's in your way except um you've given your way away your own power to heal yourself so the ultimate power uh, please go back to that that video that i've done before in in july end of july 2021 the ultimate power it will explain to you which part of the body part and how to access it so i don't want to repeat things that i've already explained very very <clears throat> um thoroughly before so i just want to to refer so that is it's really the 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 ultimate power and then the other thing i want to talk about is really how to sync up syncing up all of you so what do i mean by that the next topic is that it's really we get illness um the reason why we we get ill is because we're disconnected with our selves so we may be disconnected with our self because of um emotions because of certain beliefs um so when you sync up all parts of you physical body and your emotional body your your um spiritual body mental body when you sync up all parts of you you um you you are kind of minimizing that disconnection when you are not disconnected when you are really connected when you connect yourself back healing becomes so much easier a lot of the times healing is not so easy it's simply because we don't 
we are disconnected from ourselves. So, so what do I mean by um, syncing ourselves up? How do we sync ourselves up? It's all by intention. So first intention is to set the intention you want to connect all parts of you, physical and non-physical. And how do you know you've done it? So first thing is you um, set the intention, okay, I want to connect all parts of my body. So the physical body. So you just have to say this out loud or say this within yourself. And once you say it, once you even set that intention, you already feel a shift. And if you really want a more of a um, kind of a, um, a, um, a convincer or some, some way to know that it's done is, is you feel your pulse. So because our pulse is always with us. So when you set that intention, Make sure that your whole body receive it. And then just pay attention to your pulse on your left hand and your right hand. When the pulse sync up, meaning that both parts of your body is working together, then you know that, okay, it's done. So you, so all parts of your body is connected your physical body is connected. However, some of our illness is not just our physical body. It's also because of influence from our emotional body. So you wanna sync up with your emotional body as well when you're healing yourself. So the next is just intent, intent to have that. So just intent to, I want to sync up with my emotional body. And once you set that intention, especially if you say it out loud, you will feel another shift. Like at least I feel another shift in my body. And to really confirm that is you just notice your palms again, left and right palm, to make sure that the pulse sync up. So when left and right hand, the power sync up, then you know that it's done. It's, it's like your body is telling you that, okay, yes, done. And then the next one is sometimes our illness may be from the way we think. So sync up with your mental body as well. So just set the intention. I want to sync up with my mental body. So at first, you will not feel anything. And then after a while, you will kind of feel your left and right palm sinking up again. That's when you know it's, it's done. So now you have physical body, mental body, emotional body all synced up. So now let's also sync up our spiritual body because illness can be coming from the spiritual body. So Sync up spiritual body. Set an intention and whether you, I actually really suggest that you say it out loud if you are by yourself and it's okay. Like when you're in public, if you're doing this, yeah, you may want to just say it within yourself. But if you're just home by yourself doing healing on you, then it's better to speak it. So when you feel the left and the right palm is syncing up, then you know that, yeah, okay, spiritual body is also synced up as well. So once you have all of that sync up, It's actually time to 
like when you do that, you already feel very different. So all part of you is all synced up. And now if you want to start doing some healing on yourself, it will become, I would say 10 times more powerful because all, because you're healing all these different bodies at the same time. Because sometimes if you're doing, if you're healing the physical body, the origin of the physical illness may be because of the emotional body. So if you're only healing the physical body, then you're only doing um, half of the healing. But when you have all of your physical and non-physical bodies synced up together and you do a healing, you do healing like it's a full healing. It's not just a partial healing. Okay, yes. Question? <laughs> Vinia, I just want to ask a question. Um, so first, we have to activate ultimate power, and then we activate one of the one, like our parts of myself physical parts and then what do you mean uh my hands sync sync up so i have to feel the, my pulse in in left and right hand at the same time or what does it mean okay first thing is um you don't have to do ultimate power not necessarily but you can but you don't have to just syncing up all of your body together, that is already very powerful. Like it already makes it much easier to heal yourself when you sync up all parts of you. If it really depends on whether you want to do um, use ultimate power to do healing. Maybe you just want to sync up your body and then do 380 nm and 800 nm. So those those healing, uh, call in those healing energies. So um, yeah, two different things. I'm not saying that you can't put them together. You totally can. So that's uh, part one. The other thing of um, um, feeling your palms is... Because when we think of something, we so it's like one part of our brain. So there are different ways of feeling the sinking up of the body. So first, like for me, I just I just pay attention to what's happening in my palms. When I pay attention, like I would feel them gradually sinking up, meaning that they both palms are pulsing at the same time, like same pulse. Okay, that's, that, that's what I mean. Um, some of you may want to, like if, if it's, not as, if it's um, not as easy for you to do that, then you may want to you know, activate your palms first and then just have them face each other. Maybe it's easier for you. So if it is, then do that for yourself until you become so comfortable with it that you don't actually need to have the palm facing each other. You can actually just use your attention on your palms to be able to notice that both sides, so left and right side of the palm, the pulse is exactly the same. I just That's feel I mean. pulse. I mean, I feel that pulse is only when my hands together. If that's the case, then for now, that's what you need to do. Okay. okay. Thank you. So, any other questions? Thank you. Okay. So let's just do a very short um, process with this then. Okay. So let's just. Just take a deep breath in and let it go. So just come back to your body again. It's 
So the first thing is just pay attention to your body and then set the intention. I want to connect all parts of my physical body. And then just wait. And pay attention to your palms, left and the right side, until both palms, the pulse in both palms become the same. So they are syncing up. So now your body is, all parts of your body is connected. Okay, next, let's sync up with our emotional body. So I intend to sync up my physical body and my emotional body so that they can become one. Notice your left palm and your right palm when they come together and they are pulsing at the same speed. And you know that's done. Now let's sync up with our mental body. I set the intention to sync up my physical body, my emotional body, and my mental body. Now let's sync up with the spiritual body as well. I set the intention to sync up my physical body with my emotional body and my mental body and my spiritual body all synced up, synchronized to become one. When your pulse become the same on both left and right hand, then you know that it's all done. So it feels very different when all of your bodies are synced up. Thank you, Rini. Do you, do you feel the difference now? Hmm. I feel good. I don't know if I have any difference, but. Okay. Everyone is, is different because I, I definitely feel very different. <laughs> like I, I feel way more powerful because I'm like getting hot now. But everyone is different, so. Maybe for me to be in a good mood, it's also to be more powerful. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So when you 
sync up all of your bodies. It's actually much easier to um, to heal yourself, and also you you are more present as well. So that is when I. So that's one another one of the tool that I want to give you all is is to um, sync up all of your physical and non-physical body. So now the next thing to talk about is really, so how do we pull it all together? Um, so I want to talk about having a system because giving yourself, there are, uh, there are so many moving parts you are a living body, so, and we have so many different parts to us. We have, you know, the head, arms, different organs. How do we know, you know, what's, what's really going on? So that's why is to have a system. So that's why I want to share screen and talk about some of the ways that you can, um, so how does how does some of the other how do some of the other healers do it so i just want to give you some examples so this is a program that i i um joined in Saturn for this is the body code this is one system so i'm just giving you example of this is something that you can you can do on your own i'm not saying that you need to buy this program you and you don't need to at all. You just have to know how to go about it systematically. So this is the body code. And so if the, so they did kind of divided everything up um, into different categories. So energies. So with if I go into energies, they 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 have different things in there. And, um, and I can drill down, let's say. And uh, for example, if I go into toxins, there are all, all different levels of toxins, different kinds of toxins. So that's how one particular healer has, has decided to create a system for himself. So this is his system and he took like over a decade. Uh, I don't remember at this point how many decades he's been doing this. At least two, three decades now he's been doing this and um, having success in using this system. That's his system. If you really like the system, by all means, do that. And I want to give you another system. Um, let's see. I think I have that open up as well. Okay, so oh, not this one, this one here. So this one is, um, this is Master Energy Dynamics, so MED. So the way, if by Richard Bartlett, so by the, the, the way he has it is he divided up the body into different quadrant. So quadrant one is, is um, the head area. So he has all these different things that he kind of listed within the head area. And then quadrant two is neck area. So all different things to look into. So all the way, you know, and divided the whole body into seven or oh, eight quadrants. So that's how he did it. So divide into quadrants and just have a, a list of things to look at within that quadrant. So that's how he devised his system of working with it. So those are two systems. And I remember um, Sifu James mentioning that he knew of a, um, a healer once who actually devised the system by just dividing the body not into eight. Eight is too many. Like he, the his his friend, um, this this healer, divide the body into three parts. So just keeping it simple. 
first session he would work with the first um, part and then second session he would work with the, 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 the middle part and then the third session is the third part. So divide the whole body into three parts. And so that's um, another healer's way of just arbitrarily pick a system. So these are some of the ideas out for you. You have to so find a um, system for yourself. You want to divide the body into three parts, five parts, eight parts, as many as you want to. And you simply Google you know, what, what um what body parts is within that quadrant of the body. So that's one way of creating your own system. So a system simply means is it's a step-by-step. -step. So you go and, and just, okay, so um, let's say dividing the body into three parts, so three quadrants. So, so how do you know which one it is? That's easy. Either you work with one at a time and you cover all of it, or you simply just do a, um, a muscle test. So which one should I work with first? One, two, or three? Very simple. One, two, or three. So this is what I mean by half a system, is to simply create a way for you to work with your own body systematically. Um, so I highly suggest that you do that. Let me actually just do this first. Okay. <clears throat> so now that you have divided your body into different quadrants and, and you find out um, which one you want to work with first, then I just want to mention that, then you also have to kind of find out, okay, so which body are you actually working with? Because if you're working with the mind, there are certain things you need to look at. If you're working with the body, there are certain things you, you can look at. And if you're working on the spirit body or the emotional body, then it's a different way of looking at it. So now that you know which body part, also look at which layer you're working at. So mind, body, spirit, emotional. So you have, you have kind of um, those four. I also just want to show one thing is emotion. Emotions, we are emotional beings. Human beings are very emotional beings. So um, that's why I, want to talk about this. This is actually part of, um, this is the emotion code chart. You can, so this is, this is the create, from the creator of the body code. So he actually created the, the emotion code first, and then he um, created the body code. So the emotion code within here, um, so which body part, I, which part of the, the body part is, let's say, giving you an issue? Let's say if you always have issues with your stomach, then you, you may want to look at some of the emotions that's related to your stomach. So that's how, so these are some of the emotions that's most related to the stomach. So anxiety, despair, failure, helplessness, all of that. So how do you know which one it is? Muscle testing. Or you simply just go with your gut feeling. Okay, I'm, I'm like, if you know yourself, I'm usually a nervous person, for example, then, and you happen to have a stomach issue all the time, then you know nervousness may be something that you really want to release. So releasing emotions. Um, and let's say if you 
consistently have issue with your lungs, you may want to, like, after you've looked at the physical healing and all that, you have to go into the emotional part of it. So release these emotions as well. So this is one of the ways to work with emotions. And bringing that in as well. So what? So that's what I want to talk about. What I mean by um, having a system. So having a system is is. When you have a system, then you actually would be able to divide the body up into you know, different quadrants so that you can focus on one quadrant at a time. And it will be much easier for you to keep track of what it is that you're working on. And also when you ask the question, you just have to ask the question, okay, so what I am, what illness, whatever illness it is, that I'm working with, let's say um, allergies, because I guess you, if you have a stomach pain, then it's fairly easy. You have to work on your stomach and also healing your stomach and then work on your emotions that's related to stomach. But if you have something that is more generic like allergies, so which, which organ, and then you also have to just, Go within and, and just hold your whatever issue that you're working with first. Let's say allergies, okay? Because sometimes in the we have allergies. So you just think of like when you when you're in touch with yourself, you sync up with all your bodies. So you when you are in sync with your body you start to talk to your body and really notice. So ask questions like, okay, I have this allergies. Which part of the body is involved? And ask an open-ended question. Like if I were to know which part of the body is, is involved, what would that be? And then just really listen for your, how your body communicates with you. Your body may communicate with you by, by um, let's say, giving you a, some pain, okay? Some, the pain may be in your liver or wherever, or it may start to all of a sudden, um, let you remind you of something that happened years ago that is uh, will give you some insights into how come you have this allergy. So when you are synced up with your body, it's much easier for you to get, ask questions of your body and also get answers. So the, the so either, if you have a good communication with your body, then you may be able to hear an answer. If not, then you have to really ask, um, like say, go through different quadrants. Let's say, okay, five quadrants, which one is it? Then you just muscle test. Is it one, yes or no? Is it two, yes or no? Three, yes or no? So if you are systematic about it, then it's actually fairly easy to find which one, which quadrant of the body to start looking at. And also same thing is, you know, is it the mind, body, spirit, the emotional body that's involved? Just, is it the mind body? So yes, no. Is it the physical body? Yes, no. Is it emotions? Yes, no. Spiritual body? Yes, no. So all of these. So just, just be um, systematic about it and you will be able to if not nail it on the head at least get close to 
what it is that you need to work on. And once you kind of find out which body part or which, um, whether it's the, 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 the mental body or the emotional body, then you have a way to work with it. So that's what I mean by having a system. It's, it's create your own system as well. Um, I would, because I have, like my interest is in healing. So I have bought some of these programs. However, you don't need to buy into any program at all. You just have to be more systematic about it. You just have to say, okay, divide your body into three parts, five parts, however many parts that you want. And just check each one and find your own way through this. So for body parts, healing body parts, I would highly suggest you do the um, 380 nm and 800 nm those those are those healing it's it's we've done it a couple of weeks ago and it's really effective and you all feel the healing of uh, that the healing power that it has um so i've actually given you an fairly fairly good tools in terms of healing the physical body and the, in terms of the mental body it is really about um, discovering the your belief system that is keeping that so big part of the belief system is um, empowering our body and then the next one is emotional part of it. Um, the, if you go to the emotional ch chart, you will probably be able to, to um, just pinpoint which one it is that you need to release. I want to actually say one more thing about um, emotional and also mental body healing as well. The one thing is, is that everything is your own creation. Every illness is your own creation. And I know one part of you would say, why would I want to create this illness for myself? Why would I want to punish myself like that? Yes, <clears throat> I totally get you. Yes, why would we want to... Um, why would we want ourselves to suffer with allergies and all of that? And the other way is you need to understand is that because of our upbringing, um, I think most, most of us here is past a certain age, we, we actually, um, we came from a rather disconnected, brutal um, um, society, our family. I'm not saying every family is bad. I'm just saying that <clears throat> every family has its own quirks, has its own limitations. And when we are brought up in one condition and the rest of the world or we go into a different situation. So we are trying to, the, the analogy is that we, let's say I've, I've lived in Toronto and I know Toronto really well without even a map, I would be able to find my way around Toronto. But if I, so that's a Toronto mindset. But if for some reason, I managed to go to Costa Rica or even some place like, like Paris, go to a different, totally different 
city. And if I use the same mentality that I have been using, um, I've been accustomed to in Toronto, if I, if I put that and just don't change anything and, and simply use the same way, I would be totally lost in Paris. And I can guarantee you that because <laughs> Paris streets are crazy. I, I, actually have, I actually have a map right in front of me and I was trying to find my way. And even with my map and I'm just following it, I, I got lost. So that's, that's kind of how our, why we have illness is that we are brought up with one way of being and the world changed and we resist that change. And that's how our body gets into illness is because we don't change with our environment when we are trying to um, not change then that's when we get disconnected with our body our environment and that's when that's how illness comes about and um so getting back to how, why we get ill a lot of it is um we at some level know that everything is our own creation like maybe not everybody is completely in line that i created this situation for myself i created this illness or i created this relationship so a lot of times we we are not completely on board we think who in the right mind would create that kind of relationship i've asked myself many questions like similar questions um not now not now because I've, I've, I've really come to um, acceptance as well it's my relationship with my mother why in in <laughs> why in god's name when i want to create this relationship with that i have with my mother here and now for for myself to experience, but my mom as like this relationship really is counted for a lot of my own growth, especially the last couple of years when I really um, worked on releasing that. And, and so uh, on some level, we know that we have created that. And a lot of it is we have to forgive ourselves. You may have done everything else. You may have released emotions, blah, blah, blah. I'm quite sure that you haven't forgiven yourself yet. Because um, on some level, we know that we created this. On some level, we also know that my mother is a part of me my brother is a part of me my kids they are all different aspects of me and and so we have co-created this whole family dynamics and so how to unravel that dynamics the first thing is you forgive yourself for creating all of that for yourself to experience and then so if you only get this it's already um it will be tremendous help is is to forgive yourself for everything <laughs> and really ask yourself okay and do i love myself Okay, how, how, how much, how many, what's the percentage of that I love myself? 100% or less than 100%? If it's less than 100%, then I guarantee you 
some part of your body is not working right. There, there, everything has to have a manifestation because your body is, it's really um, the sum total of all of your thought patterns. So do you love yourself? Ask yourself this. You honestly love yourself. And then if you get to 100%, then great. And the next question to ask yourself is, do I accept myself as is? Do I accept reality as is? If it's not at 100%, then you know that that will be reflected in the, the health of your body. So, so those are some of the questions that you can ask yourself. And depending on your answer, you know what kind of work you need to do to accept reality as is because reality is if you resist it it actually um makes it worse it becomes more persistent so when you re accept reality as is it makes it much easier for you to shift and change it so Love yourself, accept reality as is. Forgive yourself. If you can do these three, then it's much easier for you to accept someone else, much easier for you to forgive someone else. So it's just from my, my own experience that, yes, it's, I can forgive someone else, but forgiving myself, <laughs> that's the toughest that's the, the, the toughest thing to do. So um, that's why I suggest that you start with the toughest. Forgive yourself. Love yourself. Accept reality as is. So those, if you, if you can do those, then I'm quite sure the mental body would be fairly clear and also emotional body as well. So um, I also actually want to talk about um, so spiritual body, because we are actually a spiritual being living in a physical body. So um, it may be not too hard to heal the, the, the physical body, emotional body, mental body. But what about the spiritual body? How do you heal the spiritual body? And if you get the... Um, if you get the, the, the yes that, okay, it's a spiritual body, excuse me, this is a spiritual body that needs healing, what you can do. And that's when the dimensions come in. So what do I mean by dimensions? So 16, 16 inches. So 16 inches above your head, that's, um, energy of the fourth dimension. So the fourth dimension, I would highly suggest everybody to start with fourth dimension. So when you do healing, um, usually I would, I would bring in at least energies from the, the, the fourth dimension. Because when you are totally immersed in fourth dimension, the feeling is you, you are no longer as centered on your physical body anymore. It's you are kind of a little bit above your body. And there is something, there's a, a saying that you cannot solve and an issue at the same level that it was created. So when you want to heal your body, that's why it's good to bring in fourth dimension energy because you are above your body because 14, 16 inches, uh, the fourth dimension energy is really beyond the body. So you are bringing in a higher frequency of energy. So that actually, makes it much easier for you to heal yourself. 
So why not make it easier for yourself? So that's the use of 16 inches. And actually 16 inches fourth dimension energy is very fairly accessible now. Um, if you if you just kind of put yourself in a bit of a meditative state and just set your intention to go to focus on energy that is 16 inches above you and you just um, just with that intention you pretty much can get to fourth dimension energy already it's because the energy of earth is so high now fourth dimension not an issue it's fair, fairly easy to get to when you are in um, a peaceful meditative state. So um, some illness or depending on how out of balance your body is, you may need even higher dimension. So that's fifth dimension. So the benefit of fifth dimension is that once you are in fifth dimension energy and you call on it, um, the energy would heal you. So the so it's um, it's a fairly high frequency. So pretty much it, but you still have to ask when you're in fifth dimension energy is okay, this this is the this is what I want to do. I want to heal, let's say if if my, you know, if, for example, thyroid. I want really my thyroid has, let's say, have been out of balance for a long time and I'm really getting, you know, um, a lot of symptoms or maybe I have something like, you know, cancer and all that, then bring in 5D because it's, that's what the energy is, um, that higher end, level of energy just makes the healing process much faster. So how to get to uh, fifth dimension. So let's, uh, oh, okay, actually I'm gonna kind of go through each of the dimension first and then I'll take you all through the, um, kind of a meditation all through that. And then uh, next one up is sixth dimension. So sixth dimension is really how to, like when you get to sixth dimension energy, pretty much um, you can heal anything, pretty much anything, because it is, it's where all the templates are. It's, so do you need to go higher? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you have to deal with, but I think pretty much six, six dimension, um, if you can get to six dimension, it's this. You pretty much can heal any, pretty much anything. And if you go into seven dimension, you don't even need to ask. You just put yourself in seven dimension, and there will be energy itself will heal you. Do you need to? How easy or hard it is to go into seven dimension? It depends on how much um, meditation you've done and how, how good you are at it. However, just start with fourth dimension, start with 16 inches and be comfortable in 16 inches. Once you're uncomfortable in fourth dimension, then step up to five, step up, step up to six, step up to seven. So that's my suggestion. So instead of all of that, let's just um, 